If you're ready for your next artist, let me you say yeah. Yeah. Make some noise, y'all, for Miss Jasper. Yeah. Look at that. Look at those shoes, though. Look at those shoes. Everyone, I am Miss Jasper. You can follow me at. I ain't never got no voice when I get up here. Hold on. <laughs> it's the cigarettes, but it's also supporting y'all. I promise. <laughs> you can follow me at JJSTAR1104. Um, I am also in a collective with Divine Styles, so you can also follow us at The Insight 513. That's T-H-E-E -E, Insight 513. We had our first uh, officially curated event on Thursday. It was dope. We sold out. So if you were there, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So if you were there, thank you. If not, we will catch you at the next one, which is July 22nd at Clementine's Bistro. It's right off of 29th in Allegheny. We will keep you posted with that. Uh, if you know any dope graffiti artists, though, please DM us. Send them our way at The Insight 513. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> this is a new piece. Uh, I literally finished new it. Shit. New shit. Yes, yes. All right. It's called The Call of Duty. I tell my black sons, fuck the American dream. Like, fuck their American cheese. If you consume what they're serving, then you're bound to sneeze because you're allergic to their disease. Baby boy, your needs are not their needs. They yearn for the power that you so naturally breathe, so they would rather see you bleed than to let you breathe. So we say, fuck that American dream. I tell them every day they is smart, kind, and important. Aspirations bred by affirmations because their self-love will not be distorted. Their black joy will never have to be forfeited. And every black dream that they have, their black father and mother will be right there supporting it. Whether it's a trade school graduation or a move across the country to a new destination, I'm going to be front and center screaming out, that's my baby. Because, see, these black kings will always be my babies. From the moment the ultrasound said, it's a boy, I knew I had to empower and protect these precious gifts, no if, buts, or maybes. When I was pregnant with my first son, Eric Garner, Mike Brown, Tamir Rice, they all died, and not by natural causes, but by homicide. So I just rubbed my swollen belly and cried and cried and cried, thinking my baby boy was probably safer staying inside. But see, when you got black pride, there's no need to hide. So on March 15, 2015, baby boy was welcome earthside, shining like a little piece of God or like a little piece of heaven. Either way, my black son is a blessing. That's why I tell them, fuck the American dream. Your goals and gifts go far past these thieves. The magnitude of your excellence is a concept they ain't trying to conceive. So baby boy, when they look at you, they ain't trying to believe. Manipulation is their communication because they prefer you look in the mirror and feel deceived. But in this household, we already understand the intentions of that deceitful American dream. <coughs> Sorry. Before I even knew I was pregnant with my second son, Jamel Robertson was killed by police while he was just doing his security officer job, ironically saving lives. Then George Robinson, his name so similar to the name I mentioned before, but I guess he didn't matter either. He was just a stroke survivor, yet his head was still slammed on the floor. Broken ribs, blunt force trauma to the head, death rolled as a homicide, yet all three officers to this day are still clocking in, bringing danger to my people's lives. Then Javier Ambler, Kowalski Trawick, and Ronald Green, you guessed it, police made sure they didn't survive. One tased to death, one shot cooking in his own home, and one tortured to death and left to die alone. 
And on July 24th, 2019, not even two hours after I gave birth to my second baby boy, not even two blocks from the hospital that I laid in holding him, my heart filled with joy. Another mother's heart was burdened, her life was destroyed. And to this day, we don't even know if a taser was deployed. All we know is Brian Henry Jr. was running from the police and with fear in his heart, they claim he felt the need to take the risk of jumping onto the subway line tracks and we don't know what happened after that. But still, a community mourned at the simple fact that this beautiful black young man was never coming back. So maybe you can understand why I tell my black sons, fuck the American dream. Because for us, it's more like Freddie in the sweater with the stripes, starring in our worst nightmares, finding different ways to make us bleed. So see, my black sons are the black dream to, for their black community. I believe the children are a future, like Whitney Houston said, or you and I, T.Y., like Queen Latifah. My black sons be bringing the black unity. So every morning, I wake my black sons, whispering the words, rise and shine, little black kings. You have been blessed to perform such a powerful duty. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>